Good evening, St. John's. I was talking with a friend recently who was going through a lot of very difficult things all at the same time. And in conclusion, he looked at me and said something to the effect of, I find I can't pray right now. And I had a couple thoughts in response. The one was, well, that's reasonable. Given how many things are going on right now, how overwhelming, undermining, call it what you will, an inability to be centered and settled and to pray, um, that makes sense. Um, of course you can't pray right now. It'd be nice if you could, but you can't. And then the second one was, then it means we must pray for you. And I think this is part of what we mean by being the body of Christ. Not that we just pray for other people and their problems, but there's a sense of we, we're praying on their behalf because they can't. And if they can't, it's okay. If Jesus is in me and Jesus is in them, and they're in Jesus and I'm in Jesus, Jesus becomes our common denominator. Jesus becomes the one through whom we are one. And if he can't pray, then I pray, and my prayer becomes his prayer. It was similar, I remember talking to a friend some years ago, and she was saying, I just don't have much hope right now. And my thought was, then I will hope on your behalf. If you can't conjure up hope, you can't. Fair enough. That's just how it is. I am feeling hopeful right now. I feel hopeful about you, so I will hope on your behalf and trust that God will receive my hope as your hope. In the case yesterday, God will receive my prayer as your prayer. This principle extends far and wide. I will have faith on behalf of you today because your life circumstances say I can't conjure up the faith. To say nothing of our physical stuff. You don't have a lawnmower? Have my lawnmower. <laughs> you don't have a hedge pruner? Use my hedge pruner. My hedge pruner is your hedge pruner. My faith is your faith. My prayer is your prayer. And I think it's in this more expansive way of seeing who we are as one with one another that the true body of Christ begins to flourish. Let us pray. For you alone, O God, my soul waits in silence. From you comes my salvation. O God of the high mountains, O Christ of the fertile valleys, O Spirit of the earth, from whose dark soils burst forth fresh life, and from which my own body and soul are born, be to me this night the bestower of grace. Be to my body and soul this night the generous giver of love. From Psalm 33, the earth is full of your goodness, O God. From John 12, a less of grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies. It remains just a single grain, but if it dies, it bears much fruit. For earth cycles and seasons, for the rising of spring and the growing summer, for autumn's fullness and the hidden depths of winter, thanks be to you, O Christ. For the life force and seeds buried in the ground that shoot green and bear fruit and fall to the earth, thanks be to you. Let me learn from earth cycles of birthing, the times and seasons of dying. Let me learn of you in the soil of my soul, O Christ, and your journey through death to birth. Let me learn of you in my soul this night and the journey of letting go. I invite your prayers of thanksgiving and intercession. From the Book of Common Prayer 
O oh God, your unfailing providence sustains the world we live in and the life we live. Watch over those, both night and day, who work while others sleep, and grant that we may never forget that our common life depends upon each other's toil. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory be to you, O holy seed of all that has been born, for earth, sea, and sky, and vibrancy of color. Glory be to you, O light of life, for your liberation of earth's bound treasures. Glory be to you, O river of delight, surging through the heart of creation. Renew me this night in the depths of sleep, set free my dreams of the unknown. Safeguarding this time of resting, O God, enfold me in the darkness of the night. Amen. Good night, Gig Harbor. <laughs>